What's next? We have to convert this. Yeah, we, we will put that into a spreadsheet, but what's next? We hook up our blade to the plane. I think so. I think we can get that stuff mounted and figured out. And then we got to go back and finish our... We got to go back and finish our mission planner stuff here. So, this is what we got to finish. We'll do that at lunch. Maybe. <laughs> at lunch. So we'll do that at lunch. I don't know. <laughs> then I got to... We gotta go over there and figure out how to connect all that good stuff up and mount it in the plane and GPS. And we got we got a lot of work ahead of us, but like. I gotta shut this. Copyright claiming out here. I gotta shut this door. Wow. That smells terrible. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, what have I been doing without you for a while? Whatever this is. I've been doing my best to not lose my mental sanity. No joke. Whoa. How do I fix that? There we go. I've been doing my best not to lose my mental sanity. I don't know. I think I did. But I'm still alive. So I basically have been doing my best to get all of the telemetry, motor, motor controller, wireless receiver, satellite receiver, RC, battery. Like, I've been doing my, my best to do that. But today, what did you do? Wow! Mess. Words don't describe what you did, because you have no words. I don't know what I did. Show me. Us. I helped you, but show us what we did. Uh -huh. I glued that in with epoxy. Yep. Screwed that in, made holes, and then screwed that in. What is that? Beagle. That's our flight controller. I haven't really used that word too much, but it's a flight controller. Controls our flight software stuff. Beaglebone! Uh, yeah, that's it. We got this mounted in there. <laughs> that's really about all we do. Oh, what else did we do? Fill holes for our... Yeah, what, what is, is that again? What is this called? An antenna? Yes, this is an antenna. And what... Do you remember? I don't know if you know. Do you know exactly what this antenna does? It gets back information? That's correct. It's the, tel it's the telemetry data. It's the data going back to our software and our computer. You're going to bring our, the computer here while we fly that? Absolutely. Or when we fly it? Absolutely. You can see how it flies. Absolutely. Um, and then here's the receiver to that radio, of course. Which and, we have to bring this anyways. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Well, we don't. It'll do the, all the data logging on the blue by itself, but yes. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, and then we made a, ba I made a battery, which is in this battery. canister. Can you hold these wires? So here's the battery. So this is our battery backup battery for the blue. It's plugged directly into the blue, and it's got its own little uh, battery management system. Hold those again. And it's in the can, because, hold it, so, it, uh, yeah, there you go. It's in the can. Um, those, so aren't, sit those aren't pinched, they're just sitting there. So in case it blows up on fire, because it is a used battery, and I did manipulate it and modify it, and I was actually afraid to film it, because they didn't want people blowing up their houses. So I didn't film it, but I did make that battery, the pack, and the connect the controller to it. So it's been running. 
And then uh, this is the receiver we got with the remote. Wait for that. Remember we got it with the remote when I bought the remote on eBay? Oh, yeah. So that's that came with it. And I purchased the satellite receiver because I was hoping this is all we would need. Mm. Can't get this to work correctly. So it does work um, with with this. You can get it to bind. It all is happy, but it only sends over data like every two or three seconds. It doesn't send live data constantly, and I don't know why. Can't figure that out. Yeah, like one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, we need like yeah. We need like so that's that would be our controlled speed. It would be terrible. Not a good thing. Uh, we also got their remote back. Do you remember what we did? Why we did it? Um, because this, this switch, there was a spring missing in one of these, and then one of them were broken. Yeah, so we fixed that, but then what after that? We sent it to the people to fix. Yeah, so I, I put, we built the battery for the back, remember? And we put the charge port on there and got that all working. Yeah. But, this remote is older than 2017, and apparently there was a fluke to use a lithium-ion battery. Uh, so the company will fix that for free. And then they fixed a lot for free. They did. They were very kind to us and they gave us a new uh, gimbal uh, and uh, the spring that attaches to it and the guts. I didn't take it apart and look, but he wrote on the note that he did fix that for us. So that was really nice of them. Yeah. And they didn't charge me. So it's an old DX60 from before 2007. Now uh, it works great if you turn it on. Hold the power button on until oh, actually it's good. You don't have to hold it. So now when it comes DX3. on, Warning. throttle high. Turn the throttle down. <laughs> that's Why case. do you say rest? Because that's my name. So it's at 8.2 volts. It's fully charged, and you can see now that the light is on the receiver because it powered on. It knows that it's working, oh. so it's good. Um, so anyway, so that was very good. We got the remote back, and we got the lithium battery working uh, and everything's happy dunky dory so that's fantastic five hours 13 minutes and 40 seconds oh it's because i left it on Make that 50. it's because i left it on is that a running timer of how long i've been using it mm -hmm. really interesting I left it on earlier and ran the motor controller and stuff. Anyway, and I've been doing a whole bunch of software stuff which I'm not going to talk about right now but this is just your brief update. Thanks for watching. Peace out.